For 75 years, Argonne National Laboratory has accelerated the science and technology that drive U.S. security and prosperity. To celebrate, we're capturing the stories of the people who made it happen. This is Argonne Voices. Argonne was founded with a mission to develop peaceful uses for nuclear energy. Today, John Stevens, a nuclear reactor physicist, and Laura Jameson, a material scientist and nuclear engineer, are at the forefront of a program that works to reduce the risk of nuclear proliferation. Friends and colleagues, they came together to talk about nuclear science, fuel plates, and one memorable sushi dinner. So John, was there a specific person that really encouraged you to pursue a career in science? My 10th grade chemistry teacher, she spotted my curiosity and probably laughed at me that I kind of dishwashing after the chemistry experiments I found strangely fun. So she hooked me up with a student work experience with the U.S. Geological Survey. People would ask me what I did, you know, and, and I'd say, well, I work at the Geological Survey, and they'd give you that quizzical look like, what? You're a kid. It's like, well, yeah, I'm a dishwasher in a lab. Now, the dishes might be a $400 piece of quartz glassware, but I have to say thank you to that 10th grade chemistry teacher that spotted something in me, and she started me down a road. Growing up, nuclear energy was scary and bad. So if you had told high school me that I would be a nuclear engineer, there's no way I would have believed you. But in grad school, my advisor sold me on the, the nuclear field because it's the most extreme environment a material will ever see. You know, it's getting ripped apart at the atomic level all the time, and you've got chemistry going on and temperatures. And so I got kind of sucked in through the science. And then as I learned more about how it really works and the benefits of nuclear energy and low carbon energy, it's, it's really cool. So Laura, your first big impact was coding fuel particles for our European-focused uh, fuel development collaboration. How did it feel to jump into a global science partnership vital to international peace and security right out of the gate? Yeah, it was a little bit like jumping right into the deep end. Um, so they were looking at trying to develop a fuel that operates at these extreme conditions. So they've got these spheres that are 70 microns in diameter, and then we coat them at Argon, we've used atomic layer deposition. So you build up the coating literally one atomic layer at a time. And then there's physical vapor deposition, which has also been used to apply these coatings. So we're basically just trying to build a layer around it, kind of like a gobstopper. So you've got the fuel core in the middle and then a layer around it. And then that gets put in the compact instead to kind of help prevent that interaction. It was really neat being able to start collaborating more broadly. Well, you swam in the deep end really well right away. That work you did with the team was really important. John, can you explain the importance of your work on the Global Research Reactor Conversion Program? So we do work in an odd little niche, but it, it is one that's very satisfying to work in. You know, our team works together around the world to maintain the remarkable science capabilities of uh, special class of research reactors while reducing the risk of nuclear weapons proliferation. These machines we work on are so amazing because rather than producing power, they use the neutrons from nuclear reactions to do all kinds of neat science. So we want to make sure with our program that they can continue to do all of that science and engineering work, but using a fuel that can't be used to make nuclear weapons. So Laura, what has surprised you the most about the projects you've worked on at Argonne? Probably the breadth of impact. When we're in the lab doing those coatings, right, your focus is on getting this one batch coated and done and getting the shipment out. It's kind of this narrow focus, but seeing how far that impact of, okay, so this plate was made at Argonne, we coated it, we did a small component, but then, you know, the fuel went to France to get fabricated and then it got sent to Idaho to get irradiated. And now the results of that experiment is going to have impacts across Europe. And then seeing all the different backgrounds of the people that I get to work with at Argonne from across the world. I love the fact that at the lab, we get to work with the best people from around the world. And that's great, not only for what we do at the lab, but then when we do these projects where so much of our program is focused on systems around the world, it's always helpful to us within the hallways to have that broad and diverse perspective. And then when we go out and work in the world, you know, we can really enjoy the diversity rather than being afraid of it. And uh, I see that as one of the gifts of working with such an international crew at Argonne is we're always able to understand the global perspectives of things because it's just part of our daily experience. And, uh, you know, one of the things I love about 
teaming up across the lab and across the world is that we get to travel together. And uh, I remember having some darn good sushi with uh, Unosaki Sensei and his crew. And in the restaurant, there were these beautiful artistic banners all around the table. And we asked Unosaki Sensei, you know, so are we going to see a menu? I, I presume you're going to just order for us. And it ended up those beautiful artistic banners all around the table were the menu. It's just the... <laughs> Since I don't read uh, the language, uh, I recognize them only as art and not as my uh, options. But I love the fact that we get to experience those different cultures together in our teams. Yeah, yeah. That was a really fun dinner. And you never quite knew exactly what was going to show up. It was all delicious. I didn't know half of what I was eating, but it was fantastic. <laughs> Argon Voices is an oral history project recording the stories behind decades of world-changing science at the laboratory. To learn more about Argonne's 75th anniversary, visit anl.gov.